what what did uh, what do you do with a sick wasp? We take it to a hospital.
I know, I know. Exactly what they need. And Dan, in your case, <laughs> though it's the toughest case I'm yet to face, don't worry, I'm determined to succeed. No my lane, and yes, indeed, you will be. You're gonna be popular, but I'll teach you the proper voice, and you talk to boys, little ways to learn and laugh. Oh, I'll show you what you need to wear, how to fix that hair, everything that really counts to be popular. I'll help you be popular. You'll win with the right cohorts, you'll be good at sports, makes like you got to know. So let's start, cause you got an awful long way. Life 
Life is terrific, my honey pie. You're the apple of my eye. Life is good, life is great. It's so fun going out on a date with you. My love, the stars shine bright way up in the sky. We kiss and dance as people walk by. It's so great. Search the honking tongues in the bars and kill that man who gave me that awful name. <laughs> well, it was Gatlinburg in mid July, and I just hit town and my throat was dry. I thought I'd stop and have myself a brew. And in an old saloon on a road of mud, there at the table dealing studs at the dirty mangy dog who named me Sue. Now I knew that snake was my own sweet dad from a worn out photo that my mother had. I knew the scar in his cheek and his evil eye. He was big and bent and gray and old and I looked at him and my blood ran cold and I said, My name is Sue, how do you do? Now you're gonna die! Yeah, that's what I told him. Well, I hit him right between the eyes, and he went down, but to my surprise, he come up with a knife and cut off a piece of my ear. So I busted a chair right across his teeth, and we crashed through the wall and into the street, kicking and gouging in the blood and the mud and the beer. Now I told, tell you I fought tougher men, well, I really can't remember when. He kicked like a mule and he bit like a crocodile. Then I heard him cussing and I saw him laugh and I went for my, he went for his gun, I pulled mine first. I looked at him and then I saw him smile. He said, his life is plenty rough and if a man's gonna make it, he's gotta be tough. I knew I wouldn't be there to help you along. 
So I gave you that name and I said goodbye. I knew you'd have to get tough or die. And it's that name that's helped to make you strong. Now you just fought one heck of a fight and I know you hate me and you got the right to kill me now. And I don't blame you if you do. But you ought to thank me before I die for the gravel in your guts and me spit in your eye. Cause I'm the son of a gun who named you Sue. I got all choked up and I threw down my gun and I called him Pa and he called me a son. I walked away with a different point of view. And I think about him every now and then and every time I can and every time I win. And if I ever have a boy, I think I'm gonna name him Bill or George or anything but Sue, I hate that name. <laughs> Stay with me in 
Queens. My all-time favorite group in the world is Rush. I grew up listening to them. They're three musicians from Canada. They're extremely talented. And on their like 500th album, uh, might have been 15, Snakes and Arrows, track number six is that song. A month ago, we were listening to that in my truck, actually Jerry's old truck, driving around. And I said to Thomas, I said, you know what? One of these days that we're going to have the time, I want to learn that song, and maybe we can play it at a family reunion. It was like two days later, Thomas says, Dad, come here, I want to show you something in the bedroom. He played that song, and I just want to start crying. I didn't even know he was going to play that tonight. I thought he was going to Mary Had a Little Lamb or something. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Thomas, for doing that. You make your dad very happy. And let's give him a big hand. Yeah!